Hi, my name's Tom Cameron from New Life Church uh, in Lee. My testimony is when, when my mum and dad, obviously, my dad was very rich and my mum was very poor, so a very contrasting situation. My dad died when I was five and a half years old and I used to have a milk business, so every day I used to go out in the milk with the milk and deliver it, rain, hail or snow or whatever, and, uh, and then go to school. And uh, this was my life till 13. Well, my life was made up of football, rugby, anything to do with sport. It definitely wasn't learning and it definitely wasn't religion uh, or it definitely wasn't God. I remember two things from Sunday school when my mum used to send me. One was getting a spile in the wrong place and the other one was my mate setting a fire extinguisher off at the Sunday school party. But... Uh, you know, the thing is, you go on and on and on, and God never leaves you at all, and he's always with you and wants to help you in every situation you find out yourself in. Anyway, my name was Rugbane, but uh, I always wondered, well, you know, what happens in a few years' time if I get this, because they always thought very highly of me, and uh, and this happens, and I thought to myself, so, you just bring a kind of a, so what, you know, three score years in ten, what's it all about? I used to pray and ask God, you know, to help me, even though I didn't even know there was a God or anything like that. But anyway, uh, I, um, as it were, went to, um, started a new job. And this guy was very, uh, really, I said, what's up with him? Because he's told us, he's always very religious. And anyway, oh, okay, so I avoided Barry, Barry Hall. I avoided him. <laughs> I don't know how many months it was. Anyway, I... Uh, I went home one night, had a few drinks, got side to side of my bed and prayed. I said, well, Lord, you know, you have to get through to me because, I mean, I can't get through to you if you're bigger than me, etc. I jumped into bed. This, when the room went spinning round, as you know what happened. Um, and anyway, I woke up next morning. I thought, oh, I'll go to the pub tonight. I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. Why do you want to go there? And a very strange thing. I felt I should go to church. Oh, no, you know. And anyway, I thought, I'm not going there, I'm not, you know. I'll tell you what I'll do, ask that Barry Hall. I'll go and ask him. So I asked Barry, I said, can I come to your church on Sunday? He said, yeah, because he nearly died when I asked him. Anyway, we went, and there's a person was given a testimony at the front, and I realised then I'd been born again of God's Spirit. And I didn't know anything about being born again. There's really been a change in you and all that stuff. And the Bible became new to me. Oh, it was like, oh, what's this all about? This is a tremendous book there. And when I prayed, it was, all, it was as if somebody was listening to me, you know. But I prayed before, you know. But it was at this time, it was as if somebody was there. And you know, the, the Bible said, if you sing a chorus, skies above all blue, everything in the spirit's new. It's summertime in my heart. And that's what it was all about. I was a new creature, something different in my life. And uh, I had a purpose in life, and that was to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. There's nothing greater. Just give God a chance, and he will help you and bless you and do you good. And it'll be a start of a really tremendous journey. And you'll find out God is a better friend than your best friend. Thank you for listening. Thank you.